We have added five new blocks under the WP Travel Engine section, which you can access via post or pages from your WordPress dashboard. This exciting update makes it easier for you to display different trip packages on your travel booking website. In this video, I will introduce you to the five new blocks of the WP Travel Engine plugin added in this new update with their detailed settings. Let's get started. First, you have to open the post or the page where you want to add the blocks. Let's select the third post and click on Edit. To access all of the available blocks, you have to click on the Add Block icon or you can also make a space here. Then click on the Add Block icon from here. Then from the search bar, simply type WP and this will display all of the available blocks. Let's start with the trips block. Using this block, you can add different trips to your blog post or page with a single click of the button. You can later showcase these trip packages in an organized way via your travel booking website. To add the trips block, all you have to do is simply click on it. And your trips block will be added here. It is very simple and easy. Next, we will configure the trips block. So you have to move on to your right hand side and under the blocks tab, you will find various settings available. So just in case if these settings were not being displayed, you have to make sure that you select the trip block first. Just click anywhere inside the block, which will select the block and all of the settings will be displayed here. The first option is trip section settings. First, you can show or hide the section title. This is the section title. You can show or hide it by enabling or disabling the toggle. And it is the same with the section description. I will disable to show the description and I will add the title here. Now under sorting and filtering, you have four options under show trips. You can either display all of the featured trips so if you select featured, only the trips that you have selected as featured trips will be displayed in your trips block. If you select latest, then the latest trips will be displayed. If you select on sale, then only those trips that are on sale will be displayed here. And if you want to select your own trips, then you can select choose from the list option. You can just click on this cross icon here, which will remove all of the trips all at once. Now you have to click inside and this will display all of the trips that you have created. You can easily select the trips of your choice, which will be displayed here one by one. For now, I will select latest trips. Now you can select the number of trips to be displayed here right now. Six trips are being displayed. If you select, let's say four, then only four trips will be displayed. Then for the columns, you can also decrease or increase the columns like this. I will also increase the number of trips and I will set the columns as three. Now under block layout settings, you can either select the block layout filter as grid and if you select grid, you can select the block layouts for grid as well. Layout number one is selected in default. You can select layout number two, layout number three or layout number four. And if you select list, the blocks will appear as list layout. You can then Select the trip display settings. You can either choose to hide or show the trip description for the trips. Then you can also select the maximum number of words to be displayed as the description. Currently, 20 words are being displayed. If you increase it, the number of description will increase. So all I have done is you can either increase or you can decrease the toggle. You can either slide the toggle over or under. I will select 33 words 
for each of the trips. Now there are more settings here. You can enable or disable the featured image. Then for the trips, which has the featured ribbon, you can also enable or you can disable them. You can enable or disable the title. You can enable or disable the price altogether or you can only enable or disable the striked price. Then you can enable or disable the duration. You can enable or disable the location. And you can enable or disable the reviews. If you enable this option, then all of the reviews that are submitted for each of the trips will be displayed. Please note that your visitors can submit their reviews via the trip reviews add-on extension as it is mentioned here. If you wish to get the extension, you can get it by clicking on the link here. Then you can enable or disable the discount. And you can also enable or disable the view details button. Now you can enable or disable the taxonomies like you can enable the trip type. You can also enable the trip activities. You can also enable or disable the group size. And you can also enable or disable the trip available times. For now, I will disable the group size and the trip available types. I will also disable the trip type and the trip activities. After you are done, click on update. Now let's view the post in the new tab. And here are the trips displaying in the trip log. Let's go back. Next, we will add the trip search block. Scroll down. Let's add the trip search block here. In this video tutorial, I will add all of the blocks in the same blog post, but you can add it in different pages and post as per your requirement. So let's make space for the trip search block. Again, click on the add block icon. Now inside the search bar, type WP. And here is the trip search block. Using this block, you can make it easier for your users to search for their favorite trips via your travel booking website. Once you integrate this block on your page or post, your website visitors can easily find trips based on duration activities, trip types, duration, price, date, difficulty, and age group. To add the trip search block, again, just like with the trips block, you simply have to click on it. And here is the trip search block. Then on the right hand side, under block tab, you will find all of the necessary settings. First, you can enable or disable to show the section title. You can enable or disable to show the section subtitle by enabling or disabling the toggle. I will disable to show the section subtitle and I will add the title here. Then you can set the search form as horizontal, which is also the default search form orientation or you can select vertical. Let's go with horizontal. Now, under search form display settings, you can change the search button label. Just remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. So for example, instead of search, if you type find the best trip, then it will be displayed here. I will set the label back to search, but you can add the label as per your requirement and preference. Next, you can show or hide the destination. So all you have to do is disable the toggle, which will also disable the destination section. Then you can enable or disable the show activity by disabling the toggle. And it is the same with duration and show price. To enable them back on, you have to enable toggles for the respective sections. If you wish to display trip types here, then you can enable the trip types by enabling the toggle. To change the labels that are already here, just remove the labels that are already here, then type in the labels of your choice. Now after you are done, click on update. Let's go to the post in the front end, scroll down and we will give it a refresh. 
and you will see the trip search block has now been added. Let's go back. Similarly, we will add the destinations block. So again, I will make space over here for the destinations block. Click on the add block icon, type WP. And here is the destinations block. You simply have to click on the block to add it to your post or a page. The destination block allows you to add different trips to your blog post or page based on the destinations with a single click of the button. Now to configure the destinations block, again make sure that you have selected the block. Then from under the block tab, you will find all of the settings here. Let's go through all of them one by one. The first option is to enable or disable the section title or description. Again, you can either disable or you can enable them back on. I will disable the section subtitle and I will add the section title as top destinations. Now you can select the card layout. Layout number one has been selected in default. You can select layout number two or layout number three. Let's stick with layout number three. Then you can display the children destination by enabling the show children destination button. Next, you can show destination based on default or you can choose the destinations from the list. So if you wish to choose destinations from the list, you have to select choose from the list. Then you have to click on this big cross icon. Now click inside the select bar and you can select the destinations of your choice. Like so. All you have to do is click on them. I will select default for now. Then you can select the number of items from here. Simply increase or decrease the value. So six items are being displayed. If you increase to eight, then eight different items will be displayed. I will set it back to six. You can define the number of columns from here. Then all of the trip counts that are being displayed here, you can show or hide them. You can hide or you can show them. Then to change the trip's label, remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. Then you can also decide to show or hide the destination name by disabling or enabling the toggle. Under additional settings, you can enable to show the view all button. You can change the view all label from here. Just remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. Then inside the link box, you'll have to copy and paste the featured link to the page or the post where your visitors will land on once they click on the view all button. After you are done, click on update. Now let's go to our post and we will give it a refresh in the front end. And you will see the destination block has now been added to our blog post. Let's go back. Now we will add the activities block. Again, let's make space for the activities block. Click on the add block icon, type WP. Now you have to select activities from here. As soon as you select the activities block, all of the activities will be displayed here. The settings for the activities block is similar to the destinations block. From the right hand side, you can choose to show or hide the title and description by enabling or disabling the toggles. Then you can select the cards layout. Let's stick with layout number one this time. I will also disable to show the section subtitle and I will add in the section title. You can show children activities by enabling the toggle. Then you can either show the activities based on default or you can select choose from list and select from the available list. You can select the column from here. You can show or hide the trip count by enabling or disabling the toggle. You can change the trip count label from here. So instead of trips, if you want to add in something else, remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. You can sure hide the activity's name. 
By enabling or disabling the toggle, you can also show the view more button on hover. So as you hover your cursor over each of the activities, you will see the view more button. You can enable or disable this button from here. So if you disable it, upon hovering your cursor over the activities, the view more button will not be displayed. But if you enable it, it will be displayed. To change the label, you can do that from here. Remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. Under additional settings, you can enable the show view all button, which will display the view all button right at the bottom of the activities block. Then you can change the view all label from here. Inside the link box, you can copy and paste the featured link to the page or the post where you wish your visitors to land on upon clicking the view all button. Click on update after you are done. Let's go to our site in the new tab. Scroll down and give it a refresh. And you will see the activities block has now been added. Let's go back. For the last block, which is the trip types block, let's make space for it. Now click on the add block icon. Again from the search bar type WP. And you have to select trip types. Simply click on trip types block which will display the trip types on your blog post. On the right hand side, after selecting the trip types block, under block tab, all of the relevant settings will be displayed. These settings are similar to your destination and activities block settings. You can show or hide the section title and subtitle from here. You can select the card layouts from 1, 2 and 3. I will stick with layout number one also this time. Then you can show children trip types by enabling the toggle. You can either show trip types based on the default or you can select choose from the list. Click on this big cross icon. Click inside the select bar and select the trip types from the list. I will select default. Then you can select the number of items from here. You can enable the number of items from here. So if you select 8, 8 different items will be displayed. You can select the number of columns from here following the same process. You can enable or disable to show the trip counts. These are the trip counts. You can just disable them and they will not be displayed anymore. Similarly, you can change the trip count label from trips to anything else by removing the label that is already here and you can then add the label of your choice. You can enable or disable to show the trip type's name from here. You can enable or disable to show the view more button on hover by enabling or disabling the toggle here. So when you disable it, the view more button will not be displayed anymore. But when you enable it, the view more button will be displayed. I will change the number of items to 6. Then under additional settings you can enable to show the view all button which will display the view all button here. You can change the label from here. Inside the link box you can add in the featured link where your visitors will land on when they click on the view all button. Inside the link box, you can add in the feature link to the page or the post where your visitors will land on when they click on the view all button. After you are done, click on update. Let's go to our site in the front end and we will give it a refresh. And here are the trip types block that is being displayed on your blog post. And that is it. If you have any questions or confusions, do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. You don't want to miss what we bring to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.